Hey guys, I'm here with James Krieger from Weightology, who's just finished his presentation on nutrition for hypertrophy, and it was a really interesting presentation. So, James, you started off by talking about genetics and talking about how they truly matter when it comes to hypertrophy, and it doesn't matter how good your training nutrition protocols are, genetics are always going to highly influence the amount of progress you can make in the gym. Um, so, yeah, can you please give us, give us a rundown on, on what you initially talked about, and you started off by talking about training volume so yeah. yeah 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 so so basically what the research seems to show now is if you aggregate all the studies together yeah. and stuff like that um, uh, it seems like there seems to be a maximum volume you can do per training session it seems to be around eight sets yeah. per muscle group and that's an average it could be maybe, you know, maybe 10 6 to 10 or you know there's a, there's a range but around eight sets per muscle group per session seems to be where the curve seems to peak and then when you start going higher than that um, it seems like gains plateau or even decrease yeah. once you go beyond that. So that whole idea of doing like a bro split, you know, doing tons of volume and bottom of muscle per session, probably not, not a great way to train. Um, now that's an experienced trainees. Uh, beginners, um, beginners can actually do just fine on fairly low volume, you know, two to three sets per muscle group per session, and they're fine. Yeah, so. awesome. Um, so when it comes to nutrition, you talk about calories and how eating big doesn't always necessarily mean you're gonna gain quality muscle. Like, yeah, yeah. you're probably gonna get big, but you're also gonna gain a lot of fat. Yeah. So, what's the research you know, behind behind that? Yeah. So, it was, the data seems to suggest that um, it depends on whether you're a beginner or experienced. If you're a beginner, you can get away with larger surpluses, you know, five hundred, you know, thousand calorie per day surplus, and actually, it, it probably will help you. Um, but once you become more trained, those big surpluses, all they do is just they just add extra fat without increasing your muscle gains, um, and so. Um, train lifters are better off with fairly small surpluses. Right. You know, I, I, I like to think maybe two to three hundred calories per day surplus is probably a good yeah, right. good range to shoot yeah, for when yeah. you're trying to mass. So. Yeah. A lot of people do think though that even the foods that lead them to a gain and they end up doing that over a long period, yet yeah, they just accumulate a lot of yeah, fat. Yeah, they just accumulate a lot of fat. And I, I, I've made that mistake before. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay, and you also talked about how it probably doesn't matter the ratio of carbs and fats. Yeah. If protein Calories accounted for the ratio of carbs about probably doesn't matter too much, but if you were to provide an optimal prescription, uh, would you say carbs would be better than fats, or fats would be better than? So I, I um, again, I would say it's a matter of personal preference and based on how you feel. I, I tend to err on the side of more carbs and less fat, especially if you're bulking, just because it's a little bit harder to turn carbs into fat versus turn fat into fat. So right. just really for that reason. Um, but other than that, I think it's mostly just kind of a you know. Mostly a matter of personal preference on what you feel like you train the best with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, do you think there's any viability to saying that you know, carbohydrates may have a better effect on mTOR? mTOR single um, really, the, the, the data suggests it doesn't really, yeah. doesn't really help. Um, um, really, it's just about protein. Yeah. So you don't need to have carbs with your protein after your workout. Or yeah. It's not going to add anything. So. Awesome, cool. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Thanks, James. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to know more about James, yeah. weightology.com. Uh, uh, dot net. Dot net. Yeah. Perfect. And you've got the research review. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks. Thanks no for having me.